Hey there, everyone. This is Alcal playing the Advent Ambush. It's just like, there's gonna be an ambush every day, isn't there? Which is fine. So, uh, just voice check at first. I feel like I'm doing a lot better. I just did the regular Advent and it went without any issues. Like, I still can't laugh, but I can talk very easily. However, I'm still going to take today as a gameplay break. So still no video game videos because I feel like not doing anything yesterday has helped. So having two days where I don't do much is probably going to be very good is probably the case. I don't know. I say that, but I could feel a cough coming. So yeah, we're getting there. So hey, Fusion Warriors all like, Rao Cow Funkatronic! With Bad Cat, there are many different burgers in the world. A bacon burger, a chicken burger, a royal burger, but there's also a cat named Burger. And this guy is definitely too tough for you. That says very little. It's kind of funny how little that says, but it's a game with a cat in it, so I'm gonna accept that gift without even questioning it. Here's the arch with, uh, right! <coughs> there you go, it went out. Right, Dwarf Fortress actually released now. It's like an actual video game that exists. Oh cow, brothers of the mine, rejoice. Have some dwarf related shenanigans for Christmas. Grimland Darch, okay. Like, what does that mean? What does it mean that Dwarf Fortress has been released? Like, like, what does that mean? Like, it sounds like a stupid question to ask, but like, I don't know how else to ask it. The deepest, most intricate simulation of a world that's ever been created. The legendary Dwarf Fortress is now on Steam. Build a fortress and try to help your dwarves survive against a deeply generated world. Yeah, like you simulate an attack and it's gonna tell you if a chicken's left foot is wet. Like, it's just the amount of simulation. The Dwarf Fortress, known for its just absolutely insane patch notes. That's basically all you need in the... And now I own that game. Dwarf Fortress is now in my possession. Ow, cow! I heard you have at least a passing interest in fighting games. One day, stuffed animal will return. But until then, enjoy these animal... Best wishes, Mel. Okay, Cosmic Crown. Fight of Animal. Oh, this is like meme animals. Like, I remember that shot of the buff uh, uh, Corgi or Ina dog. I oh, I forget which dog it was. But no, okay, it's just one of those meme fighters. But it uses animals, and animals are cute. Legend of the Strongest Creature is the subtitle. Animal memes, yeah, there you go. Animal memes such as Power Hook Dog, Mighty Fox, Magic Squirrel, and more are now become fighters with a capital F. Simple controls and funny animals and exciting battles. Choose your favorite animal and join the fight. No space, players are able to fight through arcade mode. Become the king of animals. Very straight to the point. It's a meme game, but it's about animals. And the best memes are animal memes. Like, that was just science, because animals are good. Today is the day where finally the truth gets revealed. But that's not all. We also got text-based ambush, the classic format of ambush, right here on Talk House. All right, Daiso, starting with you. Read any time in Advent, I guess, he says, confident. Hey, hey, Rao Cow, setting this on not Christmas Day or Eve because I figured Christmas will be too busy and jam-packed of a day to read a relatively minor DM like this. Well, I don't know about that, but it's true that there's an intelligence in trying to spread it out. I don't have any gifts at all, but I figured I'd at least write to you as a rad guy you are. But you know what? Honestly, uh, I appreciate the fact that you would take the time to just, you know, have a moment, just ha have a personal moment to me is extremely meaningful. Uh, as, although I do I, I enjoy getting things, but like, I get it. Being working on a thing for the and another thing project definitely been slow to catch up on my backlog of stuff, but I'm pretty sure you'll dig what I'm going to do for it, what I'm, what I'm going for with it. You definitely found out this year that I am a coder for the limited exposure we had with Smooth this year. You did take notice, which is humbling. 
Crazy thing is it took me longer to code Sprite than bosses, and somehow I won a user vote of an SMWC ASM contest with this cursed little guy. Look at this guy. Is, he, is it a zombie thwomp? Like, his eyes are all weird. But, like, like the Charlie part's eyes are all weird and blank. But the thwomp part doesn't look like he's having a good time. So I think both, both little critters are having a bad time in this combo. The best kind of combo. All right. Well, I can't, I can't do that sound. <coughs> uh, see, got to gotta use, gotta use it. <coughs> Self-talking aside, beside your little flu going on, trust me, it's been real hard here in British Columbia as well. I hope you've had a really good year. As you've mentioned, it does feel like a year of change. I feel a bit guilty about not watching more of your stuff, so I do have this nasty habit of not watching Let's Plays because I want to experience it blind, especially with the indie stuff. I noticed you played Tori, which is extremely cool. I mean, I get it. There are a lot of people for whom I don't watch a, a lot of their things because there are things I want to watch. Like, that's I feel, is absolutely normal. Hope you have a Merry Christmas to both you and everyone watching this video at this second and no one else. Postscriptum, about time you had your own self-sprite from me. And I guess there's a gift after all. That's chillin' demo. I'll redraw demo another time. There you go. I mean, I know, man. Demo sprite is already pretty much perfect. I... I'm I'm not doubting your abilities. I'm just saying, can you improve upon perfection? And that's me. Uh, I mean, using what you know about me, which is limited. I do not, in fact, own a blue shirt with an R on it. But it's fun to pretend. Also, we got another one of these. Tis the season for ambushes by 7TC7 from Austria. Hi, Rao Cow. I, I know you. You do some pretty amazing stuff. I am once again thankful for another great year of content from you. There was so much variety and so much Sonic, including a first deep dive to the depths of an official Toho game, that last one being personally very exciting to see. You are possibly aware that said game has received an update in the meantime that includes a new story route for its ghastly goat gremlin. As it so happens, I was involved with an English fan translation for this new route, and I'd be happy to see it play it when you find the time. It's quite a fun one, I would say. I am aware the schedule is packed not entirely in your hands, but this would be just one or two more videos for that series. I assume can probably fit in at some point. May your health improve rapidly, and you'll be able to laugh again soon. Merry Goatmas, Mr. Cow, and friends. Well, thank you. That is... There's a really cute little, like, image edit there. I appreciate it. But also, yeah, so I know about it. So here's the thing. Does Toho has Steam Cloud? Because since then and now, I've changed computers, right? And I didn't think to transfer over my, my save. So I, that's just my question. Would I be able to just open up the game and load my existing save? Or would I have to uh, not do that? Like, would I have to like replay the game to being able to to be able to play as Yuma? Like, that's that's the one of the reasons I just kind of didn't jump on that because it's true. Like, it's new route, probably wouldn't be super long. It's very exciting. Like, I I bet she's really fun to play with. Though I don't know. Though I don't know. The question is out there, right? So. I could not find a trailer for Bad Cat, but as I was remembered, uh, probably on Steam if there is one. It would be store page. Oh, there we go. There we go. I love that cat. He is very treaty. That's not a cat at all, that's a dog. Well, we disappeared into a cloud of smoke! And then he broke everything. That's pretty mean. What is that human doing? Oh, he's mad at a mirror. I see. My favorite part about the trailer is the mouse cursor. It's probably a very important character. So, you know, we gotta pay attention. So, <coughs> the game is to go around and cause trouble. It's the day in the life of a very chubby kitty. Like, that cat is pretty huge. Well, that guy just doesn't know how to play pool. And that one pool ball is way too big. 
Oh, it's like a tennis ball. And he didn't notice. Fast games? Fast cat. Uh, all right, so that's what bad cat is. That's what it's all about. It's, it's, it's no laser cat. I will say that. But, you know, it's because laser cat is a good cat. There you go. We've solved the problem. All right, really? You know what? Yeah, one day ago from yesterday. I'm yeah. Karn Adams, and I've been making Dwarf Fortress with my brother Zach for oh, the wait. past 20 years. It has actual graphics? Dwarf Fortress is a settlement wow. management game. Kind of looks like You'll have to make RPG sure your dwarves meter. have enough alcohol to drink and mushrooms to eat. But first, a new world and centuries of history will be generated for you to build. Yeah, before we can make some beer you from scratch, your mind is a story building engine. First, you must create the universe. Drunk cats. Oh, don't Fortresses feed your cats alcohol if you can help. Flooding, them. lava, beasts, starvation, madness. Dwarves aren't as resilient as you might think, but it's okay because losing is fun. And now we've got grass. Those trees look super this is weird. Our life's work and we're never oh, jeez. Hope you enjoy the game. Good yeah, luck. honestly, that looks like the face of two people who would have spent 10 years working on a dwarf simulation video game simulation. That makes sense. That, I get it. I understand. The. I mean, I knew what it was, but yeah, I've never, I don't, I, well, I don't know if I ever thought I would play Dwarf Fortress, but I own it now. I can't do anything about that. I mean, I can do something about that, but do I want to? That trailer's kind of long. What is that lion chomping? Oh, is that like a monkey's head? That looks Photoshop. I don't believe it. All right, uh, release trailer. Here we go. That's a TV. Oh, there we go. They're crafting digitals. My favorite. Yeah, those are the animals from from title screen. The box art. This is underground. Well, Crowrilla. Never heard about you. What a weird thing to advertise for your game. Like, yeah, you can only have up to eight people. Like the way they 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 they, they phrased it is weird. But you can tell that English is not their first language. That's fine. Kinda like that mermaid man. Like it's a really weird design. Yeah, this doubles as a penguin game. Referee was a penguin. Fight of animal. That's a thing that exists. We did it. Confirmed.